Hi, welcome to Click Geek. So in this session, we're going to look at dual function. And this is very handy when you are dealing with multiple types of data sets to cater the user requirements. So just in case, in some kind of scenarios, like where your bar chart will be plotting bars based on the values, but whenever a user is hovering on it, so there might be a different value or different text that will be showcasing apart from the bars. In this scenario it is very useful. And if you want to bind number to a string just for catering some kind of sorting requirements or else to avoid the uh, associative defaults uh, in click view, we use the default fun uh, dual function. Okay, so let's quickly jump into the click view and then I'll show you how to use dual function in these three scenarios. Right, so I have my desktop here. I'll be loading. Let's create a new application. I name it as a dual. And then be loading some kind of data set. Just reload it. Okay, so we have the data. So I'll be in country city as the list box. Okay, and then let's create a bar chart. So I'll be taking city as the dimension. Okay, and then so I'll be writing some of uh, units sold. As my expression and let's finish it off now you could see multiple things let's arrange them in a proper order so just go to present sorry access there you can find the access of dimensions of orientation just we're switching to the slant then we could see this like this so if I hover on it, you can see the expression because we haven't specified any label over there. So if I specify a label like sales by city, then you could see so now my intention is I don't want to show the sales by city equals to 445 but i want to show to which city this i mean to which country this city is belongs to so for that what i'm going to do is so i'll make this as a country so just to and apply let's see what will happen so it will be and then i'll plotting values on the data points so that you could see the numbers Okay, and uh, so now I'll use the dual function. So dual of if you see there are two parameters in dual one. The first parameter is take uh, uh, treated as text. So now I'm going to place the dimension in country here. Okay, at the end I'll be closing the bracket because we have the the string, I mean, number of parameters, sum of say, uh, sum of units sold, then apply. Now press on OK. If you go there and place the cursor on it, now you can see country equals to Norway. So the city name here is uh, uh, Gothenburg, and this country is Sweden, right? So say values on data points. How does it? Because I'll be selecting some. So now see if you want something to be customized properly there you can specify the same thing here. So take this the country and I'll put some kind of 
text out there at the end i'll be adding this let's apply i'll see the magic right so this is how you can customize your values on data points and the hovering as well with the dual function so if i place a cursor over here you can see so the country is france and the sales value is three one six okay so this is how dual function is used in the front end uh, for, for for displaying the customized uh, pop-up labels in uh, bar chart or any kind of charts okay so let's see how this dual function will work in the back end this is this is a one scenario so now i'll be creating a new sheet and then let's go to back end now i'm removing this okay so i'll be inserting um, load in line status product product and this as sales to p1 p1 Okay, now put the sales two, three, eight, six, four, one, and let's apply. Okay, let's reload it. Now, if we take the product, you could see four products out there. Let's create a bar chart. Bar chart, so here we'll be having a product, and then next is sum of sales. Finish. Okay, now to the dimensions sorry the general is converted into this one now you could able to see i don't want totals over there so we'll go to the expression and disable the totals this one now you could see one two three four right so now let's go to the back end okay and then so I named this table as uh, raw underscore data. Okay. Now I create another table. So I named it as T2. Okay. And then what I'll be doing is load star. So uh, resident of raw data. So entire data set will be coming here. Then I'll drop the table that is raw data. Okay, and then here I add one more column to it that is product underscore trans our product on the score GVL make it so in this yeah we'll be assigning product uh, for the product dual column we'll be doing a dual of product and then sales means what's happening is in the text column it is taking product as the value uh, as the text and in this uh, and the sales number as a number in this if you reload it what will happen is just see the magic
and now each and every row is treated as separate now it is not doing aggregation by the dimension because the dimensions have dimension has dual and embedded the different value in it so how to see that so if let's take a text object here uh, which has product underscore dual okay now if i click on one p1 now you could see p1 here okay if i click on another p1 so you can see p1 here okay so now let's see so if i convert this into i mean if i want to fetch number just use num num in here so that it will fetch number from this field okay now just clear And click on P1. Now you can see P1 has a three in its uh, numeric part. This has a two in its you know. This is how you can segregate different values uh, of same dimension uh, is treated as a different. So the aggregation is done by each individual value. And we came across this scenario when we were implementing the write back functionality in click view so we have designed and implemented the write back functionality without uh, putting any extra uh, cost on top of the development so in that we have faced uh, so some kind of issue like one dimension has multiple values wherein which user wants to identify uh, a single row even though it has a, a, a i mean a one dimension value to feed in his inputs in his or her inputs so this is very much helpful in those kind of scenarios and even this is helpful uh, to uh, uh, implement some kind of sorting mechanism as well okay so this is how you can use dual extension thanks for watching the video please subscribe